Today, we will be talking about the American Revolution. Very fitting, because fireworks just set off about a minute ago. Anyway, you could just hear one in the distance right now. Anyway, what was the American Revolution? By the way, this is just some quick history. So, uh, you can learn about it in three, four minutes here. Anyway, what was the American Revolution? Why was it caused? What was the result? So, it first broke up in 1765. Why? Because the American colonists really didn't like the hefty taxes that were put on them by King George III of Great Britain. So, these were called the Stamp Acts, and they were repealed by King George III. But soon after, another wave of acts came, another wave of tax laws. So, those tax laws were called the Townsend Acts, the Townsend Acts. T, uh, Town, Set. All right. So the Townsend Act were again repealed because, uh, you know, the American colonies said suck butt to uh, the UK. And the UK said, uh, the Americans said, hey, we're living in poverty. We want something from you. Please repeal our taxes. And then the people from Great Britain, the royalty from Great Britain, were like, the people here are starving too. What makes you any different? So, eventually, people started getting angry. And in the year of 1770, the Boston Massacre occurred. What was the Boston Massacre? Well, if you've heard of Boston, Massachusetts, if you've heard of Boston, Massachusetts, then you should know a little bit about this one, I guess. The Boston Massacre was when one British soldier was walking, and some Americans threw stones and rocks at him. Then, the British soldiers called up his comrades to get ready. And the Americans, in response, threw more cells, rocks, stones, everything that's hard and blunt that could kill somebody. And then, finally, do you know what the British did? They shot, and five people were killed. Mm. Now, this really sparked up the revolution, even though the war was only five days in, uh, five years in, sorry, not five days. So, what happened then? Well, the next famous event that happened was the Boston Tea Party, not the Boston Tea Massacre, the Boston Tea Party. Now, it wasn't a tea party with the British. This is not the Christmas truce. It wasn't a tea party with the British. Instead, what happened was an organization called the Sons of Liberty, this guy, the Native Americans, took 8,000 friggin' tons of tea. That's how obsessed the British were with tea. And do you know what they did? They kicked them all overboard. And now, everybody was cheering for the Americans and the British were really unhappy. Why did this happen? Well, the British had repealed the Townsend Act and the additional taxes, but they kept some taxes on tea. And the Americans hated that, so they threw all the tea overboard. And then, finally, this spoke with revolution in 1776. So, a British man named George Washington decided to be one of the military generals and uh, the, one of the sole founding fathers of the country. Now, America alone wasn't doing so great, especially because Britain controlled literally all the land around it. Now, Britain wasn't focusing all of its full power on the United States <coughs> because it still had to use some of its power for other campaigns such as uh, defending Gibraltar from that damn Spanish empire. Americans tried to negotiate with the French. The French weren't a republic at this point. They were still a monarchy, although they were on the last monarch, Louis XVI. Mm. Now, Benjamin Franklin was one of the key top negotiators with, ben uh, with Louis XVI, not Benjamin XVI, Louis XVI. But Benjamin Franklin wasn't interested, may I say, in negotiating with the king. He was more interested in humana humana. That's all I can say for now, because this is a kid-friendly channel. All right. So, eventually, Benjamin Franklin got around to negotiating with Louis XVI, and eventually, Louis XVI did the same. The thing is, Louis XVI was the head of an absolute monarchy and America was fighting against the absolute monarchy. Maybe 
something could spark out against the French. The French Revolution, coming out very signed slap 2027. Now, part two will be tomorrow. Thank you everybody for watching and we'll see you next.